Hi, I'm Sheila Simard. My husband and I uh, run Moodyville Collectibles. We, we're in our fourth year now. We started uh, over three years ago. We've been collectors for most of our lives. We had no intention of having a store. We just love filling our house with uh, beautiful things. And uh, we didn't really discriminate on anything in particular when we were collecting. We started with things that we wished we could have had as children. So we started with toys that we both wanted and then we moved on from there and collected things that made up collections. I used to have a saying that once you've got three of anything, you've got a collection and then you've got free license to get more of the same thing. And um, I also used to always say, there's always room for one more thing on the shelf. And then one day there wasn't. So we decided it would be a fun thing to do to have a store. We never intended to do that, but um, now that we're doing it, we love the selling part just as much as we do the collecting. We meet wonderful people from all around the world. Um, people think that maybe we're only going to get lots of customers in the summer, but in fact, we get lots of people over the winter, January, February, and March. We get people from the rest of Canada escaping the cold winters, and they like to come in here and tell us stories about their collections and similar places in their hometowns. And uh, sometimes we think in February that all of Alberta is emptied out because we have so many people from Alberta come through our doors. And uh, we're pleased that people like our things. Sometimes when you collect, you think maybe you're a little bit crazy because you get so passionate about it and you get carried away. But uh, it's really rewarding to find that people like the things that we've collected and are going to take them home and, and give them a new home and look after them. Something else that's interesting is lots of people think that or assume that young people don't want their parents' things or don't want any old things. We actually have lots of young people as customers. Uh, <clears throat> I think they like the idea of recycling things, not throwing them away. And they also are starting to look for things that remind them of their parents and their grandparents' past things they've seen in their homes. And they get quite excited when they, they find a little something that they can buy to uh, take home and and remind them of that, give them some memories of their um, family's past. So it's not all a throwaway generation by any means. Uh, we never really did antiques. Um, we by accident may have a few antiques, but uh, we, we call our store vintage and newer household items. So um, it's mostly things to decorate your home with, make your home look beautiful. Um, but we do of course have some collections at home that we haven't brought in yet. Another feature of our store that I think makes us a little different is that we um, can help people find things that they are looking for. So we ask them if there's something they'd like us to go home and look for because our house is so full. We have things on shelves, we have things in boxes, we have things um, labeled and stored in um, garages and uh, we can go home and look for the things that they're looking for and we let them know if we've been able to find them or not. And uh, that's fun too. We also know what we didn't collect, so we're able to say, no, we know we don't have any of those. It's also fun to keep looking. When you're a collector, you like to keep looking, and the hunt is as much fun as anything. And so um, by knowing what people really want, and by knowing what is sold in our store, we're able to keep looking for things elsewhere. Um, on this shelf are some <coughs> mainly vintage salt and peppers that I collected over the years. My mother started me collecting salt and peppers when I noticed when uh, I was quite young she had individual salt and peppers at everybody's place setting at the table when we had company and I went from there and collected salt and peppers most of my life. It's been a hard uh, decision to start to part with them but this is a selection of ones that um, I've decided that uh, I can move along to someone else. On the top shelf are some vintage planters as well. They were quite popular um, for various occasions years ago. And uh, there's quite a selection here with elephants and uh, lambs and ducks and rabbits and so on. And the bottom shelf is a collection of vintage swans. Um, planters, bowls, um, candle holders, those types of things, uh, candy dishes. And uh, they were very popular, of course, when, when I was young as well. Lots of these kinds of things were given as shower presents when, um, when people in my age group got engaged and then married. So um, this is probably 
um, an example of some of the most vintage things in this store. Um, we have it, the rest of the shelves are, are mixed in with uh, vintage and as we say newer household items um, because we, we weren't just limited to collecting vintage things. Um, my husband and I traveled across Canada a lot and uh, we had our favorite places to go in all the cities we went to after our meetings or whatever was over. Um, we would go to the various stores we liked and uh, look for things to bring home. So um, a lot of those things are represented now in the store as well. People are interested in, in lamps, the hurricane lamps um, seem to be of interest to many people. And um, we have some of those types, uh, we have them electric ones as well as the, the ones that used to burn coal oil. And uh, some people like them for practical purposes because their, their power might go out and other people like them for decorative purposes to, to make a room look um, more vintage. Those are just some examples of the types of things that are popular here. We sell a lot of glassware, um, nice glasses for um, entertaining, uh, decanters. Um, it's very popular and I guess people, there must be breakage because it seems to be a very popular thing that people look for. Um, we always have a variety of styles and uh, prices and um, we also sell theme things like uh, creamers and gravy boats and pitchers and over here we have some owls and um, uh, harlequins and then more glassware in the corner over here and uh, we're always looking for good quality vintage um, glassware. Crystal is very popular, uh, which may or may not be surprising to people, but people always like beautiful glasses, I guess. In this alcove up the stairs here, we have a, a collection of uh, cookbooks and some books and collectible comics, as well as uh, toys, uh, some dolls and bears, and uh, other items like that that um, might be of interest to children. We have a, a box full of um, toy cars that they're always enjoying poking through to see if they can find something new. So that's an area that we would like to expand a little more up on this uh, little landing here. We keep uh, two sets of shelves uh, for Christmas items all year round. People who are collectors of Christmas things like to hunt for them all year long, so it's a very popular little corner and uh, we get requests um, for things from there too, such as the ceramic Christmas trees and other things that people are looking for. And we have a huge collection of uh, Christmas things at home, so it's fun to go home and look for things for people in that area as well. We have some vintage ornaments, which were very popular the last couple of years we put them out. Took me a long time to decide to part with those, but now that they're on their way, it's okay. <laughs>